Hey, Aftershock family. Uh, I come to you this morning um, with some sad news about our mission trip this summer. Uh, group Missions just sent out uh, an email, and I know some people that maybe attended mission, the mission trip last year might have already received that email. Um, there's a lot to still be known. I'm going to be in contact soon with the person that coordinates with our group. But I want to let you know that the trip has been canceled. Um, sadly, Group Missions has canceled all of their summer mission trips. Uh, that is a huge blow to their mission. Um, they are obviously not for profit, but uh, a lot of their... Um, the money that they, they get that pays their, their staff to be able to do what they do and reach the communities that they reach, the, the food pantries, and all, all, I, I can just imagine all of these cities that youth would have been serving in to serve those communities are going to feel an impact as well. Uh, so obviously we're very sad that this isn't going to happen. Um, there's a lot of unknowns. Don't panic. Don't stress. Um, our money that we've already paid up for our trip, we're going to apply that for next summer. Um, we're going to hope that this pandemic is going to be done, over with, right? We're going to crush it. God's awesome. And uh, so the only issue I see is that um, those that may move or go away to college, some of our seniors, um, obviously we might have to um, do something different with our money, refunding, and I'll do the best I can when I have more information as to how that's all going to work. But um, it would be a huge blow to group to, to pull back and ask for a full refund of our money. Uh, so we're not going to, we're not going to um, do that. What they're going to do is they're going to apply our money and then they're going to, um, give us our $50 deposits next year. So we wouldn't have to make those either. Um, so we're just going to, um, pray for group. We're going to pray for those communities that are going to be hugely impacted by the youth and the adults not serving in those communities. Um, I'll keep you on the know as much as soon as I know more information as to what we're going to do and, and how that's all going to look. But if, you know, just think of their planning. Um, they have tons of staff that they have to train that they've not been able to do that with yet. Um, and with every state that they serve in having different plans, uh, it would be a huge undertaking with a trip starting at the end of June to train staff, to adhere to all the different states' uh, mandates and, and expectations. Um, and then the fear that, um, being honest, our families might have with sending um, you know, our youth into an area with people from other states and not knowing what's going to be spread and those kind of things. So uh, we want to make sure that we're taking our precautions to protect um, Aftershock, to protect the people that we would serve with, the communities that we would serve in. Um, so just join me this week in praying for group. That is um, probably a very hard decision for them, and I know they were trying to wait as long as they could. So um, I'll get more information to you as soon as I know it. Uh, for now, um, I love you. I care about you. And if we are able to come together over the summer, we will definitely make sure that we serve, that we serve together, and that it's an awesome experience.